Bill is working with a local nonprofit to bring a community designed for neurodiverse people to the city. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Chelsea Helms. Chad Mira is off tonight. KNWA's Demira Hale joins us live from where the organization supporting lifelong success for neurodiverse adults plans to create this community. Demira, where are you at? Chelsea, just right here at Kessler Mountain Regional Park, the city of Fayetteville and SLS are coming together, are moving to the next steps in creating all of this land right here into a community designed for neurodiverse people. This whole concept started through my little sister's experience with autism. This is Ashton McCombs, the executive director for Supporting Lifelong Success Community. It's a nonprofit which aims to bring resources like housing, long-term support, services, and job opportunities to neurodiverse adults in the community. He says it started with his sister's experience with autism. It reached uh, a threshold where she needed clinical interventions and she had to move out of state for four years because we just didn't have the the services here. McCombs says the nonprofit aims to bring those resources to Fayetteville for families and adults like his sister. Neurodiverse adults are described as adults with autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, or intellectual disabilities. It's just a way of celebrating um, the unique differences and, and abilities of, of those people because um, everyone has something they can con contribute to. The groundbreaking for the SLS community took place in 2022 at the Kessler Mountain Regional Park. Congressman Steve Womack's Community Project Fund awarded the project $3.48 million to fund the initial infrastructure. We want to scale as this development is, is ongoing because it's really a larger econ economic development project uh, for Fayetteville and for the region. The main part of what makes the community welcoming for neurodiverse people is its features like access to nature and trails. That's why he hopes it will be inclusive for all. We want inclusion, integration, um, really a supportive uh, neighborhood, um, you know, that, that includes folks of all backgrounds, all abilities. McCombs says the, expect, the project is expected to be finished around 15 years. Now, he also clarified that although the community is designed for neurodiverse people, it's open for anyone. Live in Fayetteville, Demera Hill, KNWA Northwest, Arkansas News.